Hello everyone, today we'll be making bottle piggy banks. So it's a great way to recycle old plastic bottles. You can use like pop bottles or two liter bottles. The bigger bottles will obviously give you a bigger piggy bank. Anyway, I hope you enjoy making piggy banks because it's a great way to teach your kids about savings and yeah. Okay, so this is my example piggy bank. I made it into a tiger instead of a pig, but that was just different colored construction paper and I used a permanent marker to color on stripes and two different colored pipe cleaners for the tail. We will be making a pink, so we'll need some pink construction paper, a little bit of pink pipe cleaner for the tail, and some black construction paper for the eyes, and then of course our plastic bottle. So first thing we need to do is cut out some paper. So we'll want it to cover most of the bottle, so we'll go measure it, so about that long I'm thinking, and then we'll cut it with our scissors. And now we will place some glue on our paper. Basically any kind of glue stick works for this. You can also use Elmer's glue or hot glue. Just be careful when using hot glue so as not to burn yourself. put a little bit more glue on the end so it stays stuck. So we have the start. Next we will be making our ears. So for our ears it's helpful to draw out one using a pencil. So making it however big you want them to be. And I think I'll make my big ears the size of this strip of paper, just a leftover paper from our construction. So then you cut out the first one. And then you trace the first one, so that way you can make the second one the same size. Or pretty close to the same size anyway. Then we have our two ears. If you want, you can take a different color and put it in the middle, like I did with the ears here. Or you can just leave your ears like this and kind of draw. So now we'll take the bottom and to make it stick on the top, we're going to need to snip it a little bit. So just cut very slightly into the bottom at like even spaces so that there's like little bits. Of 
That way the paper will spread around the bottle when we glue it on instead of just staying flat and not curving. So we'll do the same to the other one, cutting small bits. Then we take our glue and we glue it along the bottom. And then we take it and kind of fold it a little. So this part will glue onto our pig. it and press it and then hold it for a few seconds so as to stay then we do the same with the other ear two ears. Next we'll take a hole puncher and a piece of, I'm using black paper, and then we will punch a couple holes and we want to use the Insides which kind of get stuck sometimes. Hmm. We'll just punch another hole. You can also just cut a small piece of paper out. And then we have two little eyes. That we can glue. So we will take our glue once again and put on the eyes. So we have one eye. can glue the eyes on a white piece of paper like I did on the tiger or you can glue the eyes directly onto your pink or whichever picture you wish. Then for the nose we take two more using pink. And then we'll glue them on the bottle cap. To make the nostrils. wise to do this when it is on, otherwise it may end up sideways. There we go. So 
now we will be making the feet out of buttons or you can use large beads. So I will be taking my buttons and because I don't really have any pink buttons, I'll be using some brown buttons. So just gather an assortment of buttons and think about how tall you want your legs to be. I just want my pig to have short stubby legs, so I'm just going to do his legs two buttons tall. You can do a pattern or you can just do randomly colored buttons. So for this part you will want to use either Elmer's glue or hot glue. Hot glue is a lot easier but you just have to be careful not to burn yourself. So we will take our hot glue and then we'll put a little bit on and we'll make our feet. So this will be one foot. Then we'll make our next feet. Just take a little bit of hot glue and putting it on. We have four button feet. So next we take the feet and then we put a little bit more glue on top. And then we glue it to the base wherever we want our feet to be placed. This needs a little bit more glue. Oops, I need more glue sticks. So then we take our next button feet and we put some more glue on. And then we try to put this in the same spot on the opposite side. not completely even, that's okay. Your pig will just be a little lopsided like mine. And that can be kind of cute. It looks like he's a curious little pig. So we put on the back feet. And then find the same spot about for the back. If you want, you can use a ruler to make sure it's even or you can just kind of eyeball it, whichever you prefer. So now we have the peak, he's a little lopsided, and we'll glue on his tail. So to curl the tail, just wrap it around your finger or a um, pen or marker. And then he's a curly little tail. And then we'll take the end of the pipe cleaner and put some glue on. And then we'll glue his tail on. And there's a curly little tail. Now we need to cut a hole to the top so that way we can put our money in or buttons or whichever you wish to store. Okay, so we will cut the hole. 
So this part can be dangerous, so use a knife or scissors and make sure to get a grown up to help you if you are younger and doing this. Oops. So for this part, just make small cuts. away from you and away from your fingers and then make oops another small cut and then we'll connect the lines Be very careful with your knife. Make sure to cut away from your fingers and self. And now you have a very cute piggy bank. Hope you had fun making a piggy bank. So as you can see, you can make them into a variety of different creatures. Make sure you have fun experimenting and um, join us next time on Art with Eliana for duct tape fashion accessories.